Hi, my name is Jason Farlow and I'm studying neuroscience at American University and I'm a sophomore. Um, so I'm majoring in neuroscience and I'm minoring in sociology. I didn't take a sociology class until my um, for fall semester sophomore year, but I had been a neuroscience major throughout college at this whole point. And in neuroscience, we were learning biology, concrete, um, really black and white things that had one right answer, one that didn't. Um, and it wasn't until the same semester that I found, I got in my first sociology class that I had my first gen ed neuroscience class. And um, I loved this class. My favorite unit was when we talked about behaviors. And the big take home take takeaway thing that I got from that class was our brain is ever plastic, it's ever changing. And it is, um, it's shaped by our environment and it's shaped by the interactions that we have with people. And the inter interactions that we have with people then adjust um, which behaviors that we hold on to, which we um, keep. And in sociology, um, what we would talk about in that class is about all the ways in which people use different forms of oppression or different narratives or language to talk about how different groups have been marginalized and oppressed and how in society the different tensions that there have been and the solutions to those tensions. And so I believe that with my major in neuroscience and my minor in sociology, I have a perfect blend of the two in which I have access with sociology the um, knowledge that comes with the different um, hierarchies that we have set up in our society, the different nuances, um, the different social scripts that we're meant to follow, and what, what enforces them, what reinforces them, how do we perpetuate them, and how can we stop. And with neuroscience, um, I can take in how do these perpetuations and the narratives being told in society, how does that affect our brains? How does that affect um, how our stuff is wired, our emotions? And how then does that affect how we behave in our everyday society? And specifically as a black woman um, in this field, already I'm a minority, but I feel as though I'm one of the best people to learn about this in terms of I can then share the knowledge. And I think that's the best thing that I could do for my community is share share this knowledge, share how it specifically can affect our people, our women, our children, our men. And um, I really, I want to get out there. I want to get my, I want to get my knowledge out there. I want it to spread to everyone because I think knowledge is power. And so um, I love my learning. I love what I'm learning. I cannot wait to pursue further education. I would love to be a teacher, uh, work with kids, just 